Hey everybody, it's Jeanette here. Today I wanted to share with you exactly what I do um, when I am setting my goals. So the first thing I do, you know, with the first of the year kind of coming and going and maybe some of you already falling off on your goals, you're sitting here thinking I've totally wasted it. Well, you haven't wasted it. I mean, there's 364 other days besides January 1st that you can use to set your goals. So the first thing that I do, and this just happens to be a scrap of paper that I had on a tablet, for the first um, week or two, I just carry this paper around with me and I write all of the things that I would like to accomplish in the first quarter and then throughout the year personally. And I start with personal goals for one main reason, and that is because your personal goals are gonna fuel what you do in business. I don't care what anyone says, if you don't get what you want personally, you are not going to stick with whatever it is your goal is. So start with what you want personally. Here's just a couple of, of examples for me. I want to get an Airstream this year so that my husband and I can kind of take off and go around the country and see a little bit of what we haven't seen before. So that is one of my goals for 2019. Um, I want to actually, uh, what, let me see up here. We want to actually get two or three rentals down in Delaware um, so that we can spend more time in Delaware and Maryland. And one easy way to do that is for us to actually get properties down there. So um, we want to actually do that by the end of the year. I want to... And this probably sounds odd to a lot of people because most people today want to get bigger houses, bigger things, more things, more cars. We want to downsize this year. Since we experienced a huge health issue this year, we have figured out that, you know what, we don't want all of this stuff. We don't want a five bedroom house. We don't want all of these things that we have to do and keep up and maintain. And it's not that we maintain them, but it's a hassle to organize and schedule everything. So we totally want to downsize. We want to become location independent. So we don't want to have to stay here in our house in upstate New York. We want to be able to just go and do and be wherever we want to be. So that is one of our biggest personal goals for this year. So that's an easy step. First, you just have to sit there and take the paper with you because you're, if you're like me, a lot of times you're just gonna sit there and think, gosh, what do I want, what do I want, what do I want? And sometimes you forget about things. So keep the paper or the pad of paper with you for a week and just write down things that you personally want. Maybe you and your family, but ultimately you, because you will do a lot of things that you wouldn't normally do if it's for you personally. Um, if it's for your health and you wanna actually lose weight or exercise or eat healthier, Put that down there. Write every single thing. There's, there's nothing to this list at this point. I'm not putting any timelines, any guidelines, or anything else with it. I'm just putting everything from my thought process and my brain and dumping it onto a piece of paper. Anything that I want. Do I want a new car? Do I want a new house? Do I want to have more time with my children? All of those things personally mean something to you. So put those on the list. And once you do that, I'll show you the second step, okay? The second step is actually to start finding some of these personal things that you want in picture form. So we can do this on Pinterest, but I really want you to do it live first. And then I'll show you down the road how to do it on Pinterest so you can have it electronically. But once you feel these things, it changes you. Research actually shows that if you see things physically and then you write them, it imprints on your brain. And once you get something imprinted on your brain, you can actually take some of the pressure off yourself because rather than you remembering everything, your brain is actually gonna be working in the background to say, if you do this, you're gonna to work towards this. So that's one way to take some of the pressure off yourself. So like I said, I wanted to actually um, get an Airstream this year. So what I did was since there's not an Airstream dealer near me, I went online and I found the one that I wanted because I don't like the newer ones, they're a little too mod for me. 
I like the 0809 classic one. So I found one um, that's for sale, and I think it's like 42,000 or something like that. But what I did was I printed off pictures of this cute little Airstream. And I said that I wanted to actually have two to three of these, um, two or three rentals, and then one for me. Um, so this is what the Airstream looks like that I want. And I have been told that I'm a little particular, so this particular year has hickory cabinets, and I kind of like hickory cabinets versus oak. So that's why I've gone with that particular year. But it's a really cute Airstream. It's big enough for Joe, me, and Bodhi, and maybe a buddy for Bodhi. And that's what I want you to do for the second step of this. So just find pictures, or you can go on the internet and print them out. Some other things that I've got on here. I want, I want a Jeep, but I haven't decided what year yet. Um, I don't really want all the electronics on it, just because I think there's one more thing to go wrong with it but I do want to get a Jeep for the beach so when I go home I can drive up on the beach take my mom up there and our dogs and just have a great time so I'm gonna put that on my on my board as well and I want the new large iPad with the pencil so I can draw I would like to have the new Apple 4 watch with GPS and wireless. This took me a long time to figure out which one of these I wanted. I have been thinking about this watch for a year. Um, and Joe actually gave it to me for my birthday last year, but I, I wanted a different watch because it, it had more medical information on it than the, than the Apple watch. But since I love to hula hoop, I really wanted to um, see how many calories and, and log all those hours on that because I don't have my phone on me when I hula hoop. Um, and then let's see what else I found. Oh, I want to get, this is kind of hard to see, but it's um, a gimbal for my phone so that when I'm doing lives or something like this, I can actually just hold it and walk with it since I walk Bodhi every day. Um, and that would allow me to do it. Um, and then here's a picture of the eye pencil that I wanted. So I've gotten a lot of pictures um, that I couldn't find in magazines or something like that. I just downloaded them and printed them off. The other part of step two is to find words and stuff in magazines that we're gonna use to put on our vision board. So this one says, you might not be able to say it, but it says find your sparkle. And for me, Sparkle is just being healthy, being happy, and living the life that you want. So that I have for my um, vision board. This is a picture of, it's a metal building, but I wanna actually put four apartments in it. Um, so that's gonna go on my board. even out your tan in October. So since I live in a cold climate, I wanna be able to just go where I wanna go. And here's an example of what I think is a great place to be, which would be a, a cottage or a small tiny house on a body of water. So these are just some examples. Here's, this says together uh, because Joe and I, my husband, we want to actually do things together. So that's one of my big, big words for this year. So what I did was actually, because I don't get any magazine subscriptions really anymore, but Joe still gets them to the office. So I had him bring me a stack of magazines home. And then I found all of the things that I wanted to put on my vision board. And I started cutting them out. So our first step is to actually figure out what you want personally, and the second step is to actually find magazines or print material, pamphlets, whatever it is, find things that you want personally to achieve, to have, and to accomplish in this year. So you can make it for the quarter or for the year, but I like to start with the quarter and also tie in the year. Now once you have all of your personal goals on there, I'll show you exactly how to do that with your business goals. 
because your personal goals are going to drive those business goals and the business goals you're going to use to get all of your personal goals. It's very simple. I know you're sitting here going, what is she talking about? But don't worry. Take step one, put all of your personal goals down on a sheet of paper. All of the things that you personally want to have over the next quarter to year. And then the second step, I just want you to go find print material, whether you go to the Jeep dealer and get the pamphlet, whether you go to Apple and download the photos, or whatever it is that you want. If you want, now what I don't want you to do is this. If you want 20 apartment buildings, I don't know anybody that personally wants 20 apartment buildings. I want 20 apartment buildings business-wise because that apartment building is gonna get me what I want personally, which is an Airstream, or location independence or something like that. So we're just working on our personal goals right now. So that's all I want you to do is write a list of what you want and then find pictures and print material of exactly what it is that you want to put on your vision goal. So once you get those two things uh, and once I finish mine, I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with the business goals and then finish up our vision board. All right, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below the video and I'll get back to you. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next video.